hold it. Yes, we can. Now, today we're doing some... Uh, it started, but we're going to continue our work on some figures to go with a Tiger 1 from Tamiya and a Bronco model stag hound. Now, the one for the stag hound didn't come with the kit. That's not much of an issue. Um, the one for the Tiger 1 did. Um, be that as it may. So we're going to get onto that directly. Now, a lot of the um, ways of getting this achieved, for those who have never done this sort of stuff before, a lot of it will come down to brush selection. We're going to use 10O and some 20O um, brushes today, depending on what we need to get at the time. Um, and there's also a few tips I'll give you if, you if you're new to the game. Now, one of them is hand stability. If I'm holding a piece, I'm up here, you can imagine that there's quite a margin for error. I mean, I'm resting them against myself there, but you can see it's not as stable as if, what I generally do, rest my hands like that. Because they're stable on the table, stable on the table. Sorry, good luck, sir. I'm a poet and I don't know it. But if you rest your um, hands like this, clearly there's a point of stability straight away. Now the other thing you want to try and get your noggin around is regulating your breathing. So if I'm going right with some very fine detail, and while we're doing this today, you might notice this in operation, what I'll frequently do pretty much completely exhale and hold you see that because you're not breathing in and out you're not moving finally a uh, big tip on the way to hold the brushes like that you can see straight away you can get right into one out here, it's not as precise as the bottom one. You've probably got, got that too close to your camera, but yeah. Out here, you can see it's going to be very much harder to control. But if I'm right in at the very tip, I can go very delicately. Right, now that I've given you the sermon on the mount, let's get down to business. Light on. Now, uh, here is a Panzer Commander. I'm rather enjoying doing him, I must admit. Ooh, it sounds a bit saucy. Um, largely on account of the amount of detail options it gives, which, as you can see, go right the way down to the middle. So I do like that shit, man. Now, um, oh, I've just realised there's something I forgot to work out. I'll zoom in to show you what that is. I can find this out very quickly. Very easily, in fact. Um, now you'll notice there's his iron cross. What I forgot to check out is what the... Because we need to do with the little uh, ribbon that holds it. Um, before we do the cross itself. Um, so... What I'm going to do very quickly, um, zoom back out. I have an iron cross. Which I do. Yes, I do. Such a bit of an angle. There we go. I'll need to move you around a bit to uh, on various occasions. Uh, order of colour on that. Would be black on the outside, black on the outside, black, white, red in the middle. So if we go, okay, okay, mm. oh, no, fortunately, chaps and ladies, if there are any out there, 
I have a different black than the one I had for his uniform. So, what we're going to do, and I need paper, paper. Here we go. Now. Okay. Goggles. I have absolutely shit full of eyesight. So I need these to see in fine detail. Although I'd probably recommend them even if you have decent eyesight. And here are some new 20-0s I got. My uh, last ones were well, currently seen better days. Now, I'm going to need a mouthful of coffee at this moment. Alrighty, kids. Now, here we go. Now, my, here we go. Glossy black. Now, I'm going to use that. Let me have a close look at this for a moment. I need a really close look. And yes. Okay. You may have seen myself at Tarlis. Okay, if I'm going to do it that way, red would be my first colour actually. Because, well, it goes like this. Here's the premise. <laughs> Deary me. Do a mind heading here, aren't I? Now, uh, get a toothpick if I can. Do I have a toothpick candy? I do! Alright, what we're going to do, um, here's our iron cross. Now if I'm going to do the ribbon there, sorry, um, there and across there, bearing in mind that our colour sequence is black on the outsides, white on the middle, and red, no, red then white, but red in the middle, we can go about this one of two ways. I can either do the red straight away, then the white. I'll do the white, then there's not going to be the red on top of that. There's our plan. All right. Actually, yeah. Okay. And zoom. There we go. So we're going to go a bit of white in just there, there to create start of the ribbon that holds the middle. Now, as far as white goes, I only have sort of an ivory. Um, now that's okay, because um, he's had them filled with this, so you can assume it might not be squeaky clean and stuff, you know. So hey, here we go, kids. Now we want to give that a righteous piece of shaking, as always. And I would suggest that this may well be a opportune moment to give one of our new twenties a pearl. They'll be far sharper than uh, our current one. And that's going to be really important for this sort of sm small detail that I want to get going. Oh, what's that? Uh, my Netflix membership. I don't have a Netflix membership. You know, scammers will be doing themselves a big favour to consider that shit. Never mind. Alrighty, now, is there anything I want to do white on the other figure while I think about it? No, it is not. Yeah, there we 
Okay. Now. She had. Oh, goggles. Oops. Oh. Bing. Now. Now I'll need to get you. Slightly better. Okay, hopefully that's okay for me. Alright. Now. I'll move these out the way. So that they don't draw. Right. Let's do this. Yeah. It's not going to matter if I go wider than the white that's required because I'm going to put a glossy black stripe on the other side. Then of course there's also the red to go on. Right, so there's a there's some do Okay. All right. So that's the start of our. Uh, and what I'm going to do once that's dried is we're going to do a little bit of a red stripe. In the middle. Just a touch of black on the other side. Grab a bit of rib. We're going to need to tidy up his uh, the other bits here. Well, I think have a close look. May as well do some tidying up with the standard black. A bit. The standard black is different to the glossy black I'm planning on using. And in fact, there's some touch ups on the standard black. Um, actually, even do some glossy black work. Now, um, you think it's here. All right. Ah, here's an amusing slide here. While I'm uh, touching up the, I'm going to put that on. I'll try to keep the caps for brushes as long as possible. My theory being it keeps them safer. Because they came with text in them. Don't ever succeed. I'm never going to lose it. There we go. Now, the points where I want to do some touch ups on the black are uh, the black strip there, a little bit on the uniform there. Uh, we'll worry about this later. I mean, there's plenty to do, right? Most of, a lot of that's pretty straightforward. Um, we will do what we can. I do want to do on this one, though. And I'll get a little lump of uh, blue tack. That way I'm there to be his boots. 
Because inevitably, if I do his boots, I'll just put him down like that. The back's going to go to his boots. Um, now, I might actually do them dark grey. Um, just because that would give them a slightly different colour. Dark grey is very close to black. Um, but enough that it'll be different and... Look, you know, he's been in the field. What can I tell you? And actually, I'll do his uh, belt that colour as well. That'll be a winner. All right. In my eyes, anyway. So, in fact, that leads me. <laughs> it does, too. We'll go. Uh, where's it going? So we'll start with that one. Um, do I want to do the arms? Gotcha. Now, with your paints, always give them a thorough shake. Uh, I can't convey enough the importance of that, in fact. Just for starters, your colour won't be right otherwise, but more, the f less, or the further th you go through your uh, thing of paint, the more um, pigment you get, and it can actually create problems with texture. So if anything, you are better served to shake too much than to shake too little. I'm sure you get the drill. Well, I assume you do. What can I tell you? Now, that should be enough. Um, now, that's a bit more. Mm, I want to shake it a bit more of it. So there's not enough pigment. Now, Let's try that again. Yeah. I'm just being paranoid. I think I'm paranoid. Here we go. Goggles. Okay. Now. Where I want to go here is around, just around the edge of the... Um, where are you? Here we go. So in this instance, we're just going to tidy up the shirt collar around area around there, and the strap on the around there. And once we've done that strap, we can also consider doing the glossy black area there, which is the rim. Um, we're also going to do some other bits of black. We will do. Finish tidy up his boots. Do the same sort of a drill as what I've uh, done with uh, this dude. Um, yeah. All right. Let's 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 do that, shall we? So. If I make a mistake, that's all good. There's a bit of touch-ups coming now. Oh dear, we don't make a mistake. The reality is usually rather different, of course. So... Uh, 
it's already looking better. And this side, a little bit there. I'm getting a hand cramp in that shit. <laughs> Never a, uh, an outcome you're happy for, tell me. Uh, in as much as uh, stop you doing your thing. Uh, don't reckon it's folks in probably four years old. Get me. so far um, I'm going to tidy up that upper strap yes I am yes I am Down a bit. <sighs> and crap.
Alright. So what we've done there. As we've tied up his stalk for the crooked. Ah, so that. that's an easy fix. I still need to do a little tidy up, but the actual black strap got a nice consistent color to it. Um, now, next for black, where's the other dude's head? We're gonna go. Let's have a look first. Slight tidy up on the beret there. And there, and that would be it. Oh, and his boots, of course. So what we're gonna do. Then Alrighty. Right, so there's his uh, beret, in, or at least the cloth part of it, in fairly good order. Um, might just stick that. To one of these. Because I think the back part of this beret, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, get the paint rubbed off now, we'll do his boots. Might as well use this one. It's a bit smaller than what I really require for this boot. Normally for something of this dimension, I'll go even too uh, too open because you've got to do the edge fairly clearly. But yeah, um, I'm sure you get the drop. Now is that camera? For the right way, but the other boots, the bottom line. If it would be by virtue of the fact it's on my left currently, it's the right way out. It would, logically, because uh, right way. Boom. Hang on. Let's just have a... Might just go a little more right there. Right. 
There we go. Stick it there. Now, what else did I want to do? Black. Ah, that's something I was thinking about. Now, the radio thing there, we'll do the outer area black. This could use a bit of a freshen up. Zoom out for a moment while I do that. Um, uh, I'll give you my arm there, I'm sure. Anyway, So I want to go, once I've done the area I'm doing, going to do in black, I'll um, zoom you in to show you what I'm, what the plan is with this particular. Yeah, All right, here we go. So, as you can see, we've now got a bit of a, hang on, let's zoom a bit closer. Oop. All right, there's our radio, or at least this uh, microphone whatever, um, whoop, need to go up a bit higher, there we go, now, with that, we've got that on the inside, as you can see there's a little area, just in there, I'm going to do that, a, uh, Kind of metally color so that will be the presumably the receiver for his um, radio. So I'm going to highlight that and the button on top I'll do a different color as well. Don't know what color, maybe red. I like red colors for the buttons. I like red buttons. See, I might want to give his finger a touch up there too. Be that as it may, kids. Now, I think that was all the black I wanted to do. Uh, oh. Now, clean brush, remove goggles. Oh. 
Actually, a little bit of goggles clean brush. I digress. Now. And then down and down. So next, uh, we can go dark grey. We can do his boots. Ah, now first, we ah. need to do a little bit of filing there. There's um some points where they're in contact with the. Uh, Whatchamacallit, sprue. So we'll need to address that. Uh, yeah, nah, we're not doing that. Uh, file. Oop. Alrighty, so we'll just tidy these feet up a bit. Convenient, they're both the same. Probably should have done a bunch of paper. Yeah, we'll consider it the same. Do I have? Here I have. That's convenient. This is a bit of wet and dry. Um, I'll, just go, I'll just go straight dry. Get rid of those seams a bit. to get a little more vigorous with it because I don't like those seams. Um, See, that one's okay. It's meant to be there. Should have done that earlier, actually. Could have moved myself. Now. Actually, I can do two things here, I reckon. Give me a moment. I'll put the file away. Now, get the goggles back on. Now, if I do that, I won't be able to do this. Uh, so I'm going to tidy up this front area a bit. 
soon. Oh, no, fuck it. I'll just do the boots and then I'll worry about the rest later. It's not that big a deal, man. Particularly when you're dealing with acrylics, one of the joys of which is the reality that uh, it dries very quickly. So, you know, you can wait. It's not a big... Um, my main focus wasn't uh, on the torso so much today, but we will probably get there. What's the time now? Going for. I do need to get off fairly swiftly before a given time. Some really important things to attend to today. Um, fine show. This instance, we're going to go for a slide. Ah, this one will do us nicely, I think. And I suggest I probably don't actually need my goggles. Now, actually, here's a question. Mm. Quick change of plan, kids. That's okay. The dark grey. I'm still going to use this brush. It's going to be the soles of the shoes. So, because I have glossy black, what I'm going to do, oh, you can't see what I'm doing. What I'm going to do is utilize this dark grey for the soles, which the glossy black lacked for the actual boots. Using the flat black for his uniform. Yeah. Get your around that any time you're ready. Yeah. Now, this won't take long to dry, as I said, which is part of the joy of utilising the product. They are more uh, temperamental in terms of they don't necessarily they're not as hard as the uh, or strong as your enamel and that's why some people like enamels they uh, once they're on they are on kids um, acrylic, acrylics will come off very quickly you can rub them off with your uh, skin, skin oils, and uh, that's why you need to varnish them really promptly. Uh, uh, there we go, that's fine. I'll just go a little. There we go. All right. So as I said, that'll be the soles of his boots. All right, now we'll do the, once they've dried, which won't take long as I said, we will apply um, glossy black for the boots. Now on the topic of the glossy black, we've got a couple of plans for that. Once I've done those plans, we should they should be dry enough for the boots to be done. And there we go. Now. Now, 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 now. 
glossy black. Boom. Now, oh, it's the first time I've used this one, so I need to shake it pretty thoroughly, I would suggest. So, yeah, you can see that's purely binding agent. That's no good to us. Needs a lot more shaking than that. Saw somebody uh, on YouTube an actual paint shaking device. There's some wood I'm getting. Let's see how we're looking this time. Not yet. That's probably going to run straight through the paper too. I should set myself up with one of those wet pellet things. Apparently you can home make one quite easily. Wouldn't be happening as such. I should probably get that organised at some juncture. Uh, we shall see, we shall see. Let's see how we go this time, shall we? Yeah, that's not... Yeah, that's good. All right. Glossy black goggles. First port of call with the glossy black. It's going to be the rim of his hat. Hey, hand cramp. That was unpleasant. Probably caused me to make it. No, and I think I got away with that. Um, that's not good. Got away with that. That rim under there that's going to be the tricky part here. Um, hang on. Yeah, it's the rim under the, or underneath the rim of his hat. That's the tricky bits here. So. So I'd like to get the hard stuff done first. Right, that's starting to come together now, though. Got to say, this blue tag's actually proving very handy. I don't actually have to hold on too hard. Pretty 
treatment or helping in uh, not get hand cramps. Uh, it's starting to come together. It's a little bit more there when my jaw opens. All right, just one more little strip across the front there, and this is brim done. Like that. I hope I look well. Mostly. It's coming on. Yeah, I'm going to need to do a another uh, touch up on that with the black, but that's okay. We're coming together. Now, while we're here, uh, if you know, we're not going to do that yet. It's going to uh, do. Um, the black on the ribbon for his iron cross, but I don't want to do that yet. Now, what was the... Is there any other... Yes, there was, actually, yeah. Oh. This time... It's going to be very tight. I want to do the rim. Uh, 
or uh Work done there. Yeah, I'm not probably the touch with that. Now, ah, actually, I hope in fact you can. You can see where I've got a slightly different book, two blacks here. One's the colour of the beret, one is the strip at the bottom. I think it comes through nicely on this side. Give me a moment to put that on camera. Yeah, there we go. So you can see I've got the colour of the beret, and then there's the colour of the strip. So yeah, that's why it's worth using a couple of different shades of the craft. There we go. So yeah. Next. Zoom out. All right. Clean brush. Get a tenno initially. Um, that one's a bit. Uh, that one's a bit of here we go. Yeah, glossy black. trying to create here, I don't know if you can see. Maybe the spot there. Because we actually I should have put some dark grey and I can see that I haven't turned that up into this. Guess they'd be the same colour as the same. Um, another dark grey scenario, I think. Yeah. The same black as the uh, uniform. Alrighty. Let's, let's get the boots done.
Maybe. Two of them, yeah, one base suckers. Go in there, I'm finding this in the area too, a little bit. There we go. Now I've left that area there, I need to do... I'm going to do that in the same black as the uniform. It's slightly different. Okay, right. We can now proceed to the other one. Dear oh dear. I don't want to go with this one. This is dark grey, isn't it? This is the best one. Oh, that's right, glossy black. Yeah. Was there someone else wanted to go with this? No. So, there is a structure we would like to do with some black. So, it's very difficult.
Ah, that's what I was going to consider doing, wasn't it? Oh, no, I won't do this barrel. Because... It's feet up, so... It's bad. Actually, a little bit more. Well, there is some dark red touch ups and a few spots here, but that's all good. around a bit with the shoe glasses. Meantime, he can go there. is going to have a crooked uh, ribbon at the top. I don't want him to have a crooked ribbon. Once I've got that done, I... Of doing. Anyway, first, however, let's put the goggles. I've got them on my bloody head. <laughs> you dumb bugger, Rob. Yeah. Let's try that again.
Just want to press there, I reckon. Then the idea is is strap on it crooked. It looks a little crooked right now. Once I get that done. We'll go with our uh, field blue. This one. And then I reckon going to maybe do the red for his on his straps for his uh, iron cross. Then I'll probably wind up the stream. Take out the right line at a certain point and redo it. Maybe parts to say. Okay. I'll tidy up that white line later. There's nothing that goes across there. That's not a problem. Now, next, brush. Red. Very tricks. That's okay. That's okay. Pin. Might give it a bit more of a shake to for it, the pin that is. Can't hurt. There we go. A little bit nice. Look at 
this right. I was going to use this one on this occasion. Zoom that up and see how that looks. It's hard to tell sometimes, even with the. Uh... No. off clean my brush go on to what we've done today did today rather which in many ways was well did some good stuff we got his boots done we got his made some good work on the this dude here we've the, got the Ribbon for the uh... okay. So what we got achieved today? We got uh, his boots tidied up. We got his boots done, notwithstanding the shoelaces. So we're going to do the shoelace area. Do course. We got. The tight bit around the like a little strap around the bottom of the beret done. We got a start on his radio. And making some good progress on Dude. And next up on this one would probably be the actual cross. We'll do the last of the tidy ups. Then we look at the cross, the Lorton Kopf, the um, eagle at the top. We start going on to things like hair, other such bits. But that will be us for today. Um. So. <laughs> Zoom out. Sorry, guys. Alrighty. Now, as I said, oh dear, that's crooked. Um, that's me done for today. Um, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Um, I'm hoping to get a um, chopped down version uploaded on YouTube. So that I can uh, cut it down to about five, ten minutes of what we did today. Um, now, first time viewers out there, uh, time for you to hit the magic button of follow, like, or subscribe. <coughs> now, if you wish to track me down on other platforms, I'm Rob the Builder on Facebook, YouTube, and Discord. On Twitter, I am Rob the Builder and Food Monster. And on Instagram, I am Robster, um, and indeed Twitch, I am Robster the Builder. Follow, like, subscribe, what can I tell you? Now, tomorrow, 
I will be back uh, same time, no less. Um, and as such, I can tell you right now, free of charge, I'll be back tomorrow. Same kit time, same kit channel. I'll catch you then.